I want to react to this Linus video. They had a video. It was about de-googling your life. And I wanted to look at this because I thought it was interesting. The fact that it got taken down. It was a video. Okay. When I received a notification that our video titled De-Google Your Life yep. Part 2 Ad for YouTube was there that i watched this video too google services don't give a fuck about that i was even watching it for the like the google part removed from the platform and i was issued a community guideline strike warning a warning i got that, that before a full strike if i repeat the offense except what exactly did i even do how is it that a video about open maps and ad blocking can fall under harmful or dangerous <laughs> content it's a little insane you know using ad blocker can't blame blame youtube for doing this because google is an advertiser company or something like that youtube is a free service where you can watch videos and of course you know that would cost a lot if there were no ads no company would do that so obviously there's gonna be ads i know netflix is a paid tier with ads which is really stupid by the way let's go through what happened on August 20th, we published Degoogle Your Life Part 2. And after I about two weeks and 1.4 million views, YouTube took the video down and gave us a warning for violating their terms of service or TOS. Yeah, warning. But yeah, I got what? that warning before. Actually, I want to talk about that. I didn't get the warning. I think I got the warning for a legitimate reason, but it was because I made a mistake and I forgot to cut out a segment and it was kind of bad in a video. I obviously corrected my mistake. Yeah, but I don't... Unless, it was a while ago I had this warning. It's since, you know, it's gone now. Take some training thing course i don't i don't even remember what the reason was hi i mean we've uploaded numerous other videos that cover topics like ad blocking vpns and alternative youtube clients what is it that made this video specifically harmful or dangerous we get part of the answer in this explainer paragraph that says that this category applies to videos which violate youtube's terms of service mm. or emphasis here encourage other users yep. to do so which includes content that provides instructions on how to download youtube videos in an unauthorized manner it's kind of like with music videos if you watch a music video on youtube you'll get an ad and you'll support that and you'll give money point is watch ads support it it gives a little bit of money but if you download that and watch it offline locally on your computer you're not giving you're giving jack shit you know youtube don't youtube no like they cracking down on that apparently take this with a grain of salt because for several of its 23 minute runtime we discussed a number of ways of accessing all of the content on youtube without interfacing with youtube directly including by downloading videos now yeah to avoid this video getting removed, like i said i did watch i'm pretty sure it was this i'm pretty sure i watched the google your life video i'm not going to repeat what we said and i'm not going to link to the re-uploads that other users have graciously provided for your convenience what i am going to do though is not issue copyright strikes against those guys. And I'll give you the one ad for YouTube hack that I actually thought was the coolest one. I think they patched that because I tried to do this. It didn't work. Matter of fact, I'll try right now. No ad about it. So we said Bing. Go to Bing.com. You copy the link of a YouTube video. This copy, for instance, I will do this one. Search it. I did see this. I was that worked on here today. Unless YouTube remove thingies in the, the C bar. Indicate that there are ads. I'm a D1 ad hater. I don't see that. There's this YouTube shorts block, but it's for short. Google doesn't like it. They can hash that out with Microsoft. I'd, I'd recommend an MMA match between Satya Nadella and Sundar Pichai. Other than that, that would be uh, their contact them or like do something like, hey, can you guys like fix this with your, your search? And they're like, yeah, because, you know, they don't want to start shit with Google or anything. Can't see why they would. I mean, I just did it there and I have it. I have it on video. Here, I'll do it again. I want to do this on video because it'll be really funny. Dude, there's a fucking, this is unrelated, but there's, there's like a, I don't know if you guys see, there's a little pink, you see it? Look, there's like pink in there. I don't like that. Here, it's it's in the logo a little, I don't see it here. I don't have an ad blocker enabled or allowed it in private windows here in Brave. I don't know if there's a path to us making this video available again on YouTube. I wish a lot of other sites did that. I think Roblox has this where if you get like three strikes, I think it's if you get DMC or something like that, but it's they have a similar system, I think. I could be wrong with that. Take that with your result. But I think other sites that have a type of platform to do it, similar to YouTube, shout out three strikes type deal. Get one strike, that's penalty two, strike two, more penalty, but like longer duration, that makes sense. And then strike three, you're out. Not posting for even just one week would result in significant damage to our business and with around 100 people working here supporting Ow. their families 
that just isn't a risk that we're willing to take, no matter how cheeky I'm personally feeling about the whole situation. And besides, if we're being honest, we probably should have known this was coming. We're I mean, the first channel that this has happened to yeah. because of discussions around downloading videos. And even channels that are on the larger side, like Lewis Rosman's, have gotten struck for promoting a particular desaturated Corvid app that includes just such functionality. Now, obviously, he didn't end up getting banned forever, considering that his channel is still around, but they were clearly furious that he'd been so brazen. And I mean, it's pretty obvious why YouTube is upset about this. At yeah. the end of the day, we both knowingly violated the TOS and in a manner that has a clear impact on the long-term viability of the platform. As much as I hate to say it, they're kind of right here. Imagine if you created a restaurant, let's call it Nacho Gong. Sure. And someone punched a hole in the back of the restaurant, giving everybody direct access to the kitchen and then started giving out the food for free. Yeah. Food that you paid for. Now I'd be like, what is just madness? How long can the YouTubers like Linus? YouTube stopping ad blockers. If YouTube stops ad blockers, YouTubers or creators get more money because you know no ad block to block the ads and you watch ad, you get you support the creator, you money. Anyway, that'll wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you want me to keep doing this type of content because I'll do it. I don't know. I try to do whatever I want really, but anyway, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.